Basically, we're in the neighborhood where I grew up. Oh my gosh. What's the allied neighborhood area? She's the she best. She helped me mature, and that's not even a lie. She helped me pick a bike, a dream bike. I like it. Oh, I like being able to be that role model for people. This is my, this is the house I, I was raised in, right here. When I used to stay here, this house actually seemed like gigantic to me. This is where I actually learned how to um, ride my bike. So I used to ride down the hill, and I used to catch so much speed, I could actually ride all the way down to that corner house right there. This is Bryson, my youngest brother. He's two. This is Raven. She just turned six. This is where I grew up. This little two-bedroom does the trick for, for all 16 of us. I need to get park. He got stuck at the park. <laughs> We're super close. Well, it all started when my grandma bought me a bike so I could have something to do outside. And this is the house I grew up at. She raised me, my little brother, my little sister, and I, she's very proud. You, you can have kids 50 toys. And you can get them a pot <laughs> and, a, and a spoon. They'll play that pot and that spoon before they play the 50 toys. We had the basketball court on the south side. Yeah, I used to play basketball over here. I still do every now and then. This is the number I was when I did the Trek 100, uh, the 36 mile. <clears throat> yeah, it was pretty fun. And plus it was for a good cause, just like dream bikes. <laughs> All right, sit down, let's, let's get going. When dream bikes first started, there, there was a, a list of items that, that everybody had to adhere to in order to be a dream bikes employee. If you do every one of these things right, you're going to be in good shape at Dream Bikes. You're, you're going to be uh, a valued employee and member of the Dream Bikes family. It's more than a job, it's like a family thing there. <laughs> Can you hold this? Thank you. Here we are like a big family. I always pull the valve back down and out. So we are a family. It's really good. Okay, and when I tape it, I start from right here, right? Start right here at the bottom. And we're very supportive for each other. And we annoy each other a lot. So yeah, it's pretty much is like a family to me. I had to be about nine or 10. A guy was like, he was like, let me ride your bike. And my mom kept telling me to not let nobody ride my bike around here because they was going to steal it. So he tried to take the bike from under me and I wouldn't get off the bike. And I held on to the bike. He was trying to swing me off of the bike and I wouldn't, I wouldn't get off the bike. So. At one point, he just he just stopped and he just said, he was like, if I really want your bike from you, he, was, he just pulled out a gun. He was like, I'll shoot you for it and take it. And I just, I, I told him, I was like, you really want to go to jail for a bike, for shooting a nine-year-old? It was like real bad. I remember a couple times we used to always have to lay down in the house because and they used to always shoot right here on this corner in front of the house. I remember a guy she got shot right here on the side of the house. like. Somebody getting shot, mm, it's just another day. I mean, growing up younger, like, there were so many shootings, there were so many killings, there were so many, like, different stuff going on. I mean, the whole reason behind this is adults acting like children. And it's sad because then you have those people around and it's, not the type of people you want the kids to be able to look to. Well, peer pressure is the main one. Then there's boredom, unemployment, and drugs. That's about it, just getting influenced by the wrong people. You gotta watch what you say around people and watch what you do around people because they can retaliate and influence you to do wrong things you don't want to do. Dad's somewhere in Minnesota, uh, mother, and <clears throat> I, I got into a little trouble, so and it was it was only right just by being in that neighborhood, you're bound to bump into some issues with some people. Um, but even dream bikes to keep me away from that, just 
uh, giving me advice. My boss, Eric, giving me advice about how to just stay away from things and turn the other cheek type of thing. Um, so and I haven't been in trouble in a while now. DreamX became involved at pretty much a crucial point. point. Um, I had um, just lost a really close friend of mine to violence. He was shot. And um, that same summer is when I started working at Dream Bikes. Um, I'm going to cry now. <laughs> I started working there about a month after he died, and I was just pretty much miserable, um, obviously. And uh, when I started working there, I just felt happier. Whether they know it or not, they've always been there for me. It's like I could be having a horrible day, and I walk into Dream Bikes, and, and I feel better. I used to, when I was little, like you. I mean, I went through what you're going through, and look at me now, and inspire the kids in this neighborhood. My family is real proud of me because they know what we've come from and the thing, how I used to be. The rest of the people that's left that I grew up with. One of my guys got a hundred years for shooting somebody. My big brother, he's now facing 20 years because he shot two guys. When I heard that, I was like, nah, y'all finna go to jail for a long time. I see y'all when y'all get out. Make sure the brake levers are on tight. Right. Any kid is willing to do something, as long as you give them interest in what they want to do. See, they drive kind of easy. Because they get to work on bikes. It's kind of fun, too. So they shouldn't be mad at nothing. As long as you give them an idea of what this can do and what they will be doing, they'll do it. That's what I'm saying. It ain't even a real job. He wants to donate bikes and learn how to fix bikes and stuff. So in the near future, he can, if that's what he has to do for a living, he'll be able to make it. And dream bikes, I love dream bikes. You know, a lot of these kids when they first started, you know, I don't know how to sell a bike. You know, I don't think I can do it. You know, I don't know anything about a bike. And uh, you know, now they're doing it. There's your copy, and they'll give you a call when it's all said and done. Okay. He bought a bike from us. And this is his new bike. And I'm going around to make sure the tire isn't sticking to the rim. Because here our main focus is uh, providing these kids with. Uh, not only job skills, but life skills. How are they going to cope with uh, situations in the, through the rest of their life? All right, and I'll take you guys up there. Right. Enjoy your bike. Well, I've been working on bikes and in a bike shop since before they were born. Uh, so I'm glad I can uh, you know, share, share that knowledge with them. It's, I, it's fun watching them grow. 32 cents is your change. Thanks for stopping in. There you go. Yeah, that's what's good about this. I can take my skills I learned here and apply them anywhere. Basically, and, it's, and it can build my resume too, since I'm young and just starting out. This is the kind of thing that people should support. All right. I mean, a lot of times people go to the bigger stores and get bikes and stuff like this, but these are the places we need to be going to because they're giving back to the community. So that's a good size for you, and the seat's high enough. The bicycle, for a long time, has been a vehicle for change. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it. All right. It's fun seeing people walk out of the store with a bike, whether it's a kid coming in and getting a bike. I can take you guys. They just installed a brake pad for me on the rear, and I'm ready to roll. A lot of cases here, I get to see adults who haven't had a bike in 10, 20 years, and they come in and they get a bike. I found what I was looking for and learning what it means to operate a business and give back to the community at the same time. I can't think of anything better. 
if the kids can reach higher than they ever thought possible, then, then Dream Bikes is a success. And is that back for you? Sure, we measure it by, uh, you know, by how, how much uh, we sold last month and, and last week, but uh, you know, really the ultimate measure of success is, is that success of, the, of each kid.